today, somebody very special is coming to visit me. Somebody that I've admired for a very, very long time. His name is Robert Benfer. He is just a very dear friend of mine. He's a, an all-around awesome person. And we've known each other for a very long time. And I just, I have a feeling that he's really going to be just like a great guy. And... Oh. Speak the devil. Hello? Hey, I'm here. Oh. All right. I can't get in. It won't let me in. What? I've never been in New York before. I know, I just... What's happening? Nothing's happening, Robert, you're fine. How do I... I'll be right, look, I'll be right down. You don't have doorknobs. There's no doorknobs. You don't have doorknobs in New York? No, we have doorknobs, Robert. You need to use a key to get in. I have a key, I'm coming down. What is that? What the hell is that? I'm almost there. I don't know where my car is. I'll keep it. Where did you park it? Wow, that's crazy. Maybe I should go home. No, Robert, look, right here. Hey, look in front of you, through the glass, I'm right here. I think I, I see, oh, that's me. That's my reflection. Robert, no, look, I'm right here, hey. He's very nice. Yeah, anyway, I don't really know uh, what you wanted to do while you're here in New York. I mean, uh, we give you the sights. I have a bunch of movies. If you just want to chill here, we play the N64. That's a lot of fun. And, I, uh, oh, that's, um, that's my kazoo. Yeah? No, you're not, uh, you're not, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to play, a, you're supposed to, number one, hum, and number two, you're supposed to switch it. Actually, you're going to blow out the wax paper. If you do, you're going to ruin it. You're going to blow out the little wax paper in there. Um, actually, if you, if you could just not put that in your mouth, that'd be really great, because I, I have to play that. Um, no, that's, that's actually worse, because that's my harmonica, which I, that's a real instrument that costs money. You didn't have to lick it. No, that's not even part of playing the instrument, Robert. Please don't. Robert, Robert, okay, that's my toothbrush, Robert, please, don't put that in your mouth. Don't. It's a hygiene, th oh. There you go. Awesome. No. You can have it. Oh, Mr. New York doesn't want his toothbrush back just because it's been in my mouth. Thinks he's too good. We're both human. We both have human mouths. What am I, an animal? What, do you not have a mouth? I have a mouth, Robert. You don't have a mouth. If you had a mouth, then you wouldn't care. How would I talk if I didn't have a mouth? This is a great argument. I'm making some great points here. Are you afraid of mouths? No. Mr. New York is a real douche when it comes to stuff like this. Mr. New York. That's what they're calling you. Ever since the toothbrush incident, Robert's been calling me Mr. New York. Mr. New York! Mr. New York. Mr. New York. Trying to sleep, Mr. New York? Mr. New York! Ah! Jesus Christ! I mean, I live in New York, but... Hey, Robert. Yeah? Listen, I was gonna go run some errands. I just was wondering if you wanted to go along with me. Maybe see some things. You know, in New York? No. You don't want to go? No. I'll just stay uh, here. Well, come on, let's go. I mean, we'll see some of the sights, you know? No. I'll show you around a little... I don't want to go. You don't want to go. I just want to stay here. All right. You made the trip. I didn't. I just, uh, I thought, you know, I mean... I want to stay here. Okay. So, almost back from running errands uh, without Robert. Hope he hasn't been too bored in my apartment this whole time. I just, uh... I had to get them done, and... <sighs> hey, 
Hey, Chris. Hey, Robert. What are you doing? I'm well, just, uh, you know, cooking a little dinner for us. You need help? Yeah, actually, sure. If you would just hand me that, uh, what are you doing? No, don't. Don't do that. If you could... No? Robert? Robert, no? Robert, my mom gave me that bowl. I'm gonna need that peanut butter if you don't... Now it's garbage. That is a waste of paper. That is a waste of paper towels. You're... Please don't do that. Why do you... No, that's... That's very... Robert, what you're doing is wrong. Alright, now what? What are you doing? No, don't... Don't ruin the food, Robert. Please. God, I'm cooking this food for you. Because you don't want to go out for some reason. You drive 3,000 miles to New York just to, what, ruin my food? You don't want to leave? You don't want to see anything? Come on. It's, it's garbage now. It's useless. Please. What do you... Why didn't you do that, Robert? It went out the window. No, it didn't go out the window. There's glass there. It didn't go out. It's just a mess now. Mr. Hollywood doesn't want my help. That's fine. Mr. Hollywood. Now I'm Mr. Hollywood. Don't sniff my jammies. What? Ooh. Ooh, Planet Hollywood. Okay, so, today is the day that me and Robert are gonna see New York. We haven't been doing a lot lately, but I think he's gonna be really excited about this, because I have a really great plan. I've actually got it all out. I got an itinerary right here off the, you know, I got websites, everything, recommended places. We're hitting the Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building. We're taking the ferry across to Staten Island. We're gonna see the sunset at the Rockefeller Center. I'm gonna take him to the revolving restaurant on top of the Marriott. I even got a whole bus tour picked out, and we're seeing a Broadway show. I got the tickets already, everything. This is gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be the bomb. I'm super excited about this, and... Hey, uh, hey I'm gonna jet. Oh, um... It's kind of boring, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna head on back to Texas. Are you sh Yeah. Um, so, uh, Well, I mean, it was, it was uh, nice meeting you. Uh, no, no, I don't even wanna, don't even, I don't even wanna shake your hand. You just sit right there. I really gotta go. But, uh, thanks for letting me crash at your place for a few days. That was, that was fun. <laughs>